while Hassan Abdullah is still outside the parliament as the extraordinary session is going on. So, Hassan, let's listen in to you. That's right. The session is currently underway and uh, so far we've seen a very unified message coming through. The Turkish position, everyone is emphasizing that, that uh, this referendum is unacceptable and that it poses a security threat to Turkey and also it would destabilize the region. Uh, let's uh, go into detail as to precisely what's happening and what should we be expecting. Joining me now is the Member of Parliament, Emine Nurgunay. Good to have you with us here on TRT World. First of all, so far, what you've seen from this session, the main opposition parties, CHP and MHP, are also supporting. HDP's position doesn't seem to be very clear. Uh, what are we expecting this evening? Yeah, actually, uh, now discussions are going on at the Grand National Assembly, and uh, the representatives of the uh, political parties uh, are... Um, uh, you know, uh, taking uh, the uh, stage and sharing their ideas of the uh, of their parties, but uh, from the standpoint of the opposition parties, CHP and the MHP uh, agree on this resolution uh, because it is a matter of Turkey's unity and integrity, independence of the country. So, uh, but the HDP, uh, we are not sure about it. It is ambiguous. They are a little bit uh, reluctant to agree on this resolution. That's what we understood from their speech. Uh, so the discussions are going on, as I said before, and we will see at the end. Now, all the major actors in the region, Turkey, Iran, Iraq, are very clear on their position and on their opposition to this referendum. But some of Turkey's allies, they're talking about this timing, that they're not opposed to it per se. Uh, how does Turkey view that? Actually, uh, yes, uh, the countries in the Middle East, uh, Iran, Iraq and Turkey, are very clear about their uh, position uh, on this issue. But on the other hand, uh, some countries and allies of Turkey, as you mentioned, uh, they say that it is not the right time, but it will be never the right time for Turkey. Uh, Turkey will use all the rights stemming from international agreements and Ankara agreement on this issue. So we say that uh, without Turkey's consent, no referendum can take place about the independence of this region. So uh, Turkey is very clear about it, and Iran and Iraq are supporting. Uh, hopefully all the allies of Turkey will also understand this very sensitive issue in this very uh, vulnerable region right now. Now, Turkey, of course, is saying that if this referendum goes ahead, then it would pose security challenges for Turkey. What's your personal assessment if this referendum does go ahead? Um, what sort of time frames are we looking at? What sort of actions are we expecting Turkey to take? Actually, now, uh, we all know that this region in the Middle East uh, is a region, is a place where all the internal uh, strives and uh, endless civil wars, radicalism, sectarianism uh, are going on. So it is not a stable uh, region right now. So first of all, we have to try to provide peace in this region before uh, you know, taking action in different types of referendums. So we need peace in this region, it's for sure. And uh, if a referendum takes place and if yes votes uh, come out from this referendum, uh, Turkey, first of all, will not accept the result of this referendum. And there will be not just political uh, consequences of this referendum, but there will be also, there could be military, and there will be economic, social, and political uh, consequences of this referendum. Think about this. I mean, we are talking about the region, uh, the uh, Kurdish uh, government region in the northern Iraq. So uh, look at the uh, neighbors of this region. I Iraq, it is in the state of Iraq, and Iran, Turkey. So there are very close economic ties with uh, this government, uh, this administration. And uh, what's going to happen? And Turkey has always been uh, by the uh, Kurdish, uh, northern Iraq Kurdish uh, government. So uh, I don't know, but there will be consequences of this referendum in a negative way. 
Now, Turkey is a key member of the NATO alliance, which operates on the principle of collective security, collective defense. Uh, but uh, some of the officials I've been talking to here in Ankara, in fact, many of them, they're saying that um, many members of NATO have this very Daesh-centric view. And they're not looking at the other security concerns of, for example, Turkey uh, or others in this region. How do you view this assessment? I mean, it's a biased view, actually, because uh, we have to look at it. Uh, all the, uh, we have to investigate all the dynamics of this region. It is not just the Daesh issue, ISIS issue. Yes, it's a big threat, but uh, let's remember uh, for a moment that Turkey is fighting, struggling all different types of terrorist attacks and groups right now. Not just ISIS, Daesh, but PKK, PYD, PETA, all three different types of terrorist groups. So, uh, if you look at this point, just uh, concentrating or focusing on the Daesh issue, then again, it will be a very big mistake. Uh, you know, it, ten years ago, there was uh, another terrorist group, uh, Al-Qaeda, now Daesh. Maybe in five years, there will be another. But we have to uh, investigate the roots of these uh, groups. So we have to agree on to fight on these uh, roots, not just the results. So right now, we are just focusing on the result of an um, terrorist group. So Turkey looks at this issue from this point, uh, this uh, point of stand, and tries to avoid all different type of conflicts, not just you know sectarian. Uh, struggles in the region, there are ethnicity differences in the region, so that we should be very sensitive. Turkey says that, okay, we have to try to uh, find a, a common uh, platform to solve all these issues. It's not just religion, it is not just ethnicity, there are, there are all different types of problems in this region. So, for example, Ker Kerkuk, it's another uh, issue in this conflict. Uh, there are three provinces uh, which will again capture the, these areas, three provinces. Uh, Nenova, uh, Diyala and Kerkük. Kerkük is a red line for Turkey, for example. And we have, it is an inalienable, inalienable right uh, stemming from Ankara Agreement for Turkey. So uh, Tur Kerkük uh, is a Turkmen uh, Turkoman uh, state actually, actu uh, there are different ethnicities there, like uh, Arabs, uh, Kurds, but basically Turkmen. So uh, there are so many issues other than the Daesh ISIS. Now, within this regional security context, um, when we look at Syria, Turkey has been saying that its priority has been the humanitarian perspective in Syria, trying to uh, reduce the pain, the suffering of the Syrians. Uh, but at the same time, we are witnessing affiliates of the terrorist PKK group, the YPG, consolidating more territory in Syria. Now that the government is seeking the mandate from the parliament for military deployment, are we expecting the government to take perhaps a more assertive position because many of its allies continue to support? And earlier we've heard defense ministers say that the weapons going to the YPG are being used against Turkey. So after the government gets this mandate, are we expecting a more assertive policy? Yeah, there could be, as I said before, there will be military, political, economic and social uh, consequences of this uh, referendum. And uh, this is the first step today that Turkish government is taking uh, as the Grand National Assembly we are supporting. And the main opposition parties are also supporting. So this should be, this should provide a signal uh, for the whole world, actually. Turkey is united. Uh, and Turkey will take into account all the humanitarian issues in the region and uh, will defend its country and the humanitarian rights in Syria, Iraq, uh, in general, uh, anywhere in the world. Now, one of the concerns Turkey has raised is that uh, we've witnessed in some parts of northern Iraq where, for example, the majority had been Turkmen, there has been a shift in demographics, exactly. a sort of deliberate shift. Uh, what sort of measures is Turkey planning to take with its ally Masoud Barzani? 
Right. Uh, especially in Kirkuk, Mosul, and in other some uh, countries in Iraq, uh, demography has changed a lot. And uh, we believe that it was a planned uh, scenario. It started maybe 10, 15 years ago, and now we have a different demography there. But it doesn't mean that uh, we don't uh, have historical ties in that region, in these cities. We all know the history about these uh, cities and regions, and uh, we respect all different type of ethnicity there, Arabs, uh, Kurds, uh, Turkmen's, Ezidis, uh, any uh, group there. So um, I don't think it can be changed. So it is there. We, the whole world knows there. Uh, they try to change the demography in these cities, but uh, the reality is there. Great. Thank you very much indeed. Good Thank to have you, you with Thank us here on TRT World. The Member of Parliament, uh, Amina Nur Gunay, there with us on TRT World.